presence by his causeless mercy he presents himself in his shama sundar unfortunately uh, uh, people with less intelligence deride at him avajananti mang mudha because the lord comes as one of us and just like plays with us as a human being therefore we need not uh, consider that lord is one of us it is his omnipotency that he presents himself with his real form before us and uh, displays his past times just the prototype of his abode. So that abode of Lord, there are innumerable planets also in that Brahma Jyoti. Just like we have got innumerable planets floating on the sun rays. Similarly, in the Brahma Jyoti, which is emanating from the abode of the Supreme Lord, Krishna Loka, Goloka. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa Pratibhavitabhi. All those planets are spiritual planets. They are Ananda Chinmaya. They are not material planets. So the Lord says, Natat Bhasayati Sujya. Now, anyone who can approach that spiritual sky will not be required to come back again in this material sky. So long we are in the material sky, what to speak of approaching the moon planet. The moon planet, of course, is the nearest planet, but if we approach the highest planet, which is called Brahma-loka, there also we have the same miseries of material life. I mean to say, the miseries of birth, death, old age, and diseases. No planets in the material universe is free from the four principles of <coughs> material existence. The Lord therefore says in the Bhagavad Gita, Abrahma Bhavana Lokam Punaravatina The living entities are traveling from one planet to another. It is not that we can simply go to other planets by the mechanical arrangement of the Sputnik. Anyone who desires to go to other planet, there is process jānti-deva-vṛtā-deva-māṇ pitriṁ jānti pitri vṛtāha If anyone wants to go to any other planet, say moon planet, we need not try to go by the Sputnik. The Bhagavad-gītā in the steps says, jānti deva vṛtā deva these moon planets or sun planets or 
the planets above these bhuloka, uh, they are called sargaloka, sargaloka, bhuloka, bhuvarloka, sargaloka. They are different status of planets. So devaloka, they are known just like that. The Bhagavad Gita gives a very simple formula that you can go to the higher planets, Devaloka, Jnanti Deva Prata Deva, Jnanti Deva Prata Deva, Deva Prata, if we practice the process of worshipping the particular demigod, then we can go to that particular planet also. We can go to the sun planet in who? We can go to the moon planet. We can go to the heavenly planet. But Bhagavad Gita does not uh, advise us to go to any one of these planets in the material world, because even we go to the Brahma Loka, the highest planet, which is calculated by the modern scientist, that we can reach the highest planet by traveling with Sputniks. Uh, for forty thousands of years. Now, it is not possible to live forty thousands of years and reach the highest planet of this material universe. But if one devotes his life in the worshipment of the particular demigod, he can approach the particular planet uh, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Janti Deva Brata Deva. Pitri in Janti Pitri Brata. Similarly, there is Pitri Lok. Similarly, one who uh, likes to approach the supreme planet, supreme planet, the supreme planet means the Krishna Loka. In the spiritual sky there are innumerable planets, sanatana planets, eternal planets, which are never destroyed, annihilated. But uh, of all those spiritual planets, there is one planet, the original planet, which is called Goloka Vrindavan. So these informations are there in the Bhagavad Gita, and we are given the opportunity for living this material world and get our jhana life. And in the eternal kingdom. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.